Welcome back to Ocean Echoes, North Carolina Shipwreck Chronicles. I'm Callum, OBX for Sale Chronicler. Default, the shipwrecks of North Carolina's coast are some of the most fascinating maritime stories in the United States. Known as the Graveyard of the Atlantic, this region is home to many wrecks, each telling a unique story of danger, bravery, and sacrifice. One of the most significant shipwrecks is the LV-71, also known as the Diamond Shoals Light Vessel. This story not only highlights the vessel's role in keeping ships safe, but also its tragic encounter during World War I. LV-7 once stands as one of the few surviving pre-1930 United States light vessels and holds the distinction of being one of only two federal government ships lost to enemy action in U.S. waters during World War I. It is the only light vessel to be sunk by enemy action in the 20th century, making its story particularly notable. Launched from Bath Iron Works in Maine on December 28, 1897, LV-7-1 served as a floating lighthouse and navigational beacon for over 20 years, helping ships navigate the treacherous waters of Diamond Shoals, North Carolina. This vessel was vital to maritime safety until August 6, 1918, when it became a target during a German U-boat attack. On that fateful day in 1918, LV-71 witnessed a German U-boat attacking an American steamship. The Merrick, as the lightship radioed the warning of the attack, the U-boat intercepted the signal and turned its guns on LV-71 after a brutal shelling. The 12-man crew abandoned the ship, escaping in lifeboats as they watched the vessel sink. The crew eventually reached shore after hours of rowing, but the LV-71 was lost. Despite the tragedy, its radio transmission had warned away more than 25 vessels, saving countless lives. In 2015, LV-71 was located 100 feet underwater. The wreck is still owned by the U.S. Coast Guard, and through collaboration with an OAA and other institutions, maritime archaeologists have surveyed and documented the wreck. LV-71 story is now part of a broader effort to preserve the memory of ships lost off North Carolina's coast. Many during both world wars, the site has been nominated for the National Register of Historic Places, ensuring its legacy endures. The story of LV-71 connects North Carolina's coast to global history and the heroic efforts of those who served aboard the vessel. As one of the few light vessels lost in wartime, its sinking is a testament to the challenges faced by mariners and the importance of maritime safety during times of war. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the history of shipwrecks. We hope you found this episode both fascinating and moving. Join us again next Saturday as we continue to uncover more stories of sunken ships and maritime mysteries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest episodes. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the depths of history.